these people made some wild bets, but followed through. Hey, what happened? He lost the bet. He lost the bet. <laughs> this is what happens when you lose a bet. In 2017, this Texas teen got duct taped to a pole by his friends. The joke made its way to the police. Yo, that is hey! Turns out it was just a silly prank. The cops were kind enough to drive the teen home after the whole ordeal. He held it together pretty well. But after all, he was duct taped. Talk about embarrassing. In 2018, Jose Rivas wore a red dress in public to hold up his end of a bargain. I'm a little embarrassed that I chose Tom Brady on that last game. And he let me down against Smoking Jay Cutler. A promise he made after coming in last place in his fantasy football league. All in all, it was good fun. Uh, it was pretty hilarious to all the onlookers and random people stopping and having me pose for pictures and, and laughs. The sign says, no money needed. I just suck at fantasy football. Jose and his friends from Texas have been in the same fantasy football league for years. There was never a doubt in our mind that Joe would actually go through with the bet or not. We knew he would. Wagering on who would be the next contestant on The Bachelor. <laughs> betting on who would be the winner of Survivor. In March of 2020, at the beginning of the pandemic, professional sports grinded to a halt. So gamblers itching for some action wagered on just about anything. You could put your money in a Top Chef pool where what's going to happen on Top Chef? It's free to play and you can win money. I am at home bringing you your forecast. People even bet on the weather. Before Tom Brady signed up with the Tampa Bay Bucks, the betting was hot and heavy on where he'd end up. One better bet $1,000 that he would go to the Bucks and he'll be collecting $45,000. Anything was fair game for the online gamblers missing the action of sports betting. Because of a bet, this man went from this to this and got a million dollars out of it. The most important thing at that moment was to show myself that I'm capable of this type of goal and I could complete it. In 2017, professional poker player Walter Fisher says he lost 70 pounds after his colleagues made fun of him. Some poker playing acquaintances said something that was derogatory towards me while I was eating a piece of apple pie with ice cream on top and sitting there at 245 pounds. And, uh, and I made a remark like I could be under 10% in six months. The ante between friends quickly went from $1,000 to seven figures, betting Fisher couldn't do it. And that was enough for him to hit the gym. Toward the end, he spent six to eight hours every day working out with his trainer. This wasn't a, a normal civilian situation where, hey, I'm just trying to get down, you know, 15, 20% body fat. But this is a guy who was, who needed somebody overseeing, auditing, and overhauling his entire lifestyle. Six months later, Fisher was significantly lighter and one million dollars richer. This California gambler proved that everyone has their price. Brian Zembic said he would do just about anything to win a bet. So when a friend came to him with a truly outrageous offer, it was a bet he couldn't refuse. I was bet $100,000 I had to have breast implants as large as a girlfriend of mine. You heard it right. And yes, he pocketed the 100 G's. Man, I no, my breath got in my way. Many would say this is just too weird, but not for a gambler like Brian. You thought getting breast implants was normal? Well, it was, you know, it's money, anything to do with money to me is normal. In my world, anything we gamble at is normal. So it's like a job, an everyday job. Life is a laugh. It's full of fun. And he's definitely one of the fun people. This is the man who put Brian in a bra. New York City cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Felix Schiffman. The two guys, you guessed it, gambling buddies. You got beautiful breasts. I just said the face could be improved now. Let's work on the face. And what did Brian's wife think of all this? Does that bother you, that his breasts are bigger than yours? No. No. No, mine looks much nicer. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.